It is I, Republic Studs, and welcome back to another mock video. Now, I know you guys love mock videos, so I figured, why not keep them going? You guys clearly love them, and we're going to keep doing it. So, yeah, today we are going to be doing a Mandalorian attack on Coruscant battle, where the Final First has to defend a Coruscant ba um, base from basically being destroyed, and yeah. Now, this base is also being protected by the Final First Legion, with the new Final First Legion clone troopers, some Clone Army Customs figures, some Mandalorians from the Mando Battle Pack, Death Watch, that sort of stuff. And it's kind of a nice build. It, was, it wasn't too complicated. I was just kind of having fun with it, and I wanted to make a little fun mock and kind of gives people some inspiration. Um, I haven't done too many like of these types of mocks. I usually do landscapes when it comes to these more mini mocks that I do on a... Uh, well, at least once a week basis, as opposed to like my base stats, because all of my great pieces usually go into the base. But I have some ones that I didn't use yet or can't use in the base, so I did this here, and I really like it. it look, it's like I like the feeling of it. It's like an underworld kind of base. We got like lots of fun stuff. It's being defended by Arc Trooper Jesse. I like to think this was sort of after the Fives incident. The um, Fire First was still stationed on Umbara. You know, Jesse got his new armor, and it's great. It looks fun. Now, uh, with that said, we'll get into it right now. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification. It will help a ton. We're so close to 6,000 subs, and if everyone watching this subs, then we will definitely be on our way there. Now, with that said, let's get into it. Not to mention that the Captain Rex, um, what, what, uh, I, I swapped it out with Jesse because I thought he looked cooler and better. And also, I just wanted to mention this because I want to I just show appreciation. This was sent in fan mail. Um, I got this, um, helmet, which is just super nice, and I'm really grateful to the person who sent that to me. Now, yeah, I also like the way we did the entrance. This was used with this new bucket of uh, extra pieces I got. Um, so you'll see, like, some printing here. I have a very high suspicion that, um, the, there was, at one point in time, there was a Star Destroyer in that bucket. Um, uh, because I have, like, these pieces and my Star Destroyer over there. So I have a feeling that we're using a lot of Star Destroyer pieces. Like, there's, like, so many Star Destroyer pieces. And I, I would, you know, if I, if I didn't have so much to do, I would try to go find it. But, you know, I already put the pieces on the base. And I don't want to go back and look for all of them. And if in the case there's missing pieces, I don't want to have to try to find those either. So, yeah, um, the Star Destroyer parts are now in here in this little base. Now, yeah, I like our little captain because it reminds me kind of like a Commander Fox. Um, at least with the helmet. Um, so I wanted to, you know... Simulate like what the 501st Commander Fox would be like. You know, we saw the gray one um, on Camino. There was a gray one that looked like him. We saw Commander Fox, obviously Commander Doom. They all have that general look. I don't think the 501st really had that in the show. Like, like I, I guess uh, Captain Vaughn looked more like a Commander Cody. Now these two little things over here. Um, n here, sorry, it's in a stand. That being this little curved thing and that. Our little fuel pumps. I think they're like fuel cell, fuel cells that are uh, carrying the fuselage, that sort of thing. And yeah. So anyway, I want to kind of showcase the figures that we got now. I'll do that right now. One Clone Army Customs Fire First Invert. Uh, we have about three officers. Uh, one, they are all varied in small ways. We have sixteen Five First Legion clone troopers from the brand new Five O First Battle Pack, which you know, love these guys. Uh, we have two shock troopers. You know, they were the regular like base defense because you know they're all over Coruscant. Uh, here we get Captain Rex decaled by Epic Figs. Um, this is a Jonek Toys exclusive. You'd buy it. Use code R Studs at Jonek Toys, um, and we dropped him. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, moving on, we have the uh, clone. This is actually interesting. I want my Mandalorians are fun. Now, this is something I recommend anyone do. I'll, I'll get it after this. But yeah, so I got the Clone Recut Sums helmet here. Um, this is not a Mando jetpack because I got this torso in that big box I was showing you earlier. We have regular Mando. Now, here's what I do with these guys. This is fun. So if you buy the Clone Customs like jetpack back grab bag or like backpack grab bag, you get a lot of these things, and they go really well with the Mando battle pack. Like I got a great one here. Like this could also work well with the Soka Trooper. Um, this this backpack, I need to try it on the new one. But it looks great. And also, fun fact, this is the same type of thing that Captain Rex has on him. It's like the little, like, things. See? Look. Look at that. In the same mock. Whoa, brothers in arms. Um, but yeah. And also, I want to use this cape for Anakin Skywalker. I saw someone use it as, like, a Jedi cape. I'm like, oh, that's sick. Um, 
But yeah, and I also have, they have like the little Clonomy Customs guns. They just look great. So get those little grab bags. That it, it, they were, it's so worth it to like customize your Mandos. It makes them look so much cooler. Like look at this Chad. He, he used to look boring. And I think one of my favorite examples of this is this one. Because you get him work with the light blue one, which comes with, you get a purple one. You work with the green one. You work with the brown one. They'd all look beautiful on this Mandalorian dude. Um, yes, it's a dude because of the way the eyes are shaped. Now, I never understood that, like why the female ones look different from the male ones in terms of the helmet shape. Just never understood to me because they have the same sort of face structures. I don't know. Because I just picture it, it's a lot harder to see out of, I assume, this one uh, of the male one than the female one. Um, because, like, female one adjusts to your eyes, and the male one, they have to, like, see him. But, yeah, anyway, other than that, we got the base, and it was super exciting. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and let's get into the epic gamer outro. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, huge thank you to everyone for watching. Also, in the description, please check out all the sponsors. We have Jonak Toys. We all recently brought on DK Collectibles, so if you're looking at buying his stuff, you check him out. Um, we have all the other guys down there. You can check them out. One stud, everyone. Use code RStuds or Studs promo. And yeah, so with that said, like, subscribe, do all the other buttons, and I will see you all in the next one. Stay awesome, and peace out.